Hey guys, Flame here, and today we're gonna be talking about Killick versus Mr. B. Um, yeah, I, I just woke up th this morning, right? And I look at my phone, and I'm looking at like we're not even gonna have an intro for this, bro. I look at my phone, I look at it, and I see the situation, and I just get mad, bro, because like, bro, he's getting blasted, and like, okay, before we start this, bro, I want to get a few things out first. Uh, this video, I'm just gonna be talking and i'm it's vaguely scripted i'm not really scripted i'm just going off my top of my head it's pro i'm probably gonna say vulgar language so sorry boss sorry dad sorry whoever whoever watching this i don't like the link i'm going to just be cussing in this video sorry about that and um basically what i'm gonna say is bro first let's bring up the constants okay first of all i'm pretty unbiased when it comes to this i don't know who killick is i don't know who mr b is bro because killick I, I, okay, I've seen his like 30 second clip videos of like getting cards in Deep Oaken. Who hasn't seen those? They just pop up everywhere on recommended, bro. But it's not like I know who he is. And the B family, I don't know who they are either. But then I look at this situation and it just gets me heated because, like, first of all, let me tell you about me. I'm mixed, I'm black and white, bro. I grew up in a uh, majority black high school, bro. I just graduated. Like, I'm 18. I'm 18. First year in college, I just graduated. That's me. And these, these kids, bro, they're all kids. Killick, Mr. B, Gabriella B, they're all kids. Killick 17, uh, Mr. B 16, the daughter is 15. Bro, they're all teenagers. They're all in high school, bro. They're all in high school. The biggest discrepancy here is 17 and 15, which is the main thing that people are talking about. Bro, Killick could borderline be a junior, a junior in uh, high school. And then Gabriella could be a, she's basically a sophomore, bro. Like, I mean, you could really stretch it and say she's a freshman and he's a senior, but who cares, bro? They're all minors. They're all in high school, bro. And in my high school, what, okay. What Killick said, I'm going to say this right now. I don't condone what he said. What he said was wrong. What he said was wrong. There's a time and a place to talk like that. This was not the time nor the place at all. You don't go after popular family channels that probably don't understand your background whatsoever. You don't come at them like that bro because then like everybody on the internet is some snowflakes now you're gonna get canceled but like i'll get back to that later what i want to talk about first is like bro in my high school people talked like this all the time bro like it was just casual like if you're mad at somebody you start roasting each other you start talking about their family they moms they aunt they uncle they sister they bro people talk about my sisters all the time all the time did i go snitch to my parents about it no you keep that in the cafeteria bro like everybody would talk like like if you go to any public high school i guarantee you they're talking they like you'll hear stuff like what killick said but like a hundred times worse bro like way worse than what killick said and i'm not saying what killick said is right i'm just saying and eh, a public high school you're hearing that everywhere like let's not act like these kids these some t like they the parents in their video made it seem like killick is some 35 year old predator and their kids are 10 year old angels bro like that's not the case here they're all in high school and if they these b kids i don't know how privileged they are because they were probably famous when they were kids bro i don't know if they have homeschooled or whatever but if they are in public school i guarantee you they've heard worse than what killick said on a daily basis bro they've probably said it themselves just joking around that's just i don't know if like that's how they did at their high school but my at my high school where you could that's just how people rose it like it was just all jokes it was all fun even though it was really personal and deep it was all jokes and fun and if someone said something way too personal like if someone's mom was really in jail and someone said haha your mom's in jail and he says bro chill out bro people would usually chill out like but we was still saying stuff that vulgar that that um that extreme and we knew we was taking it as jokes at my school bro and you can tell bro i could tell seiji because seiji did re did a reaction to the video i could tell he knows what i'm talking about bro because every time killick said one of the things he said and seiji heard it he was laughing because he heard that before he's heard that i've heard what killick said before we've all heard that before bro No! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! What the? Ever, ever. If, if I look in my uh, friend Discord group, my friend Discord, and look at all the times we got mad at each other, start fighting, I guarantee you we was saying worse stuff than what Killick said, bro. Like, and again, that's not saying what Killick said was right. Like, I would have never done that. I would have never said what he said in that context. But that's the thing. It's the context, bro. It's the context behind it, bro obviously killick and these kids grew up differently like they like i'm guessing killick went to a high school like mine bro where this is just how we talk this is just how it like he was not it was not that deep it was not that deep bro but 
uh anyways i just had to get my opinion out because i just think all this killer kate is just unwarranted bro like you know you talk like this if you're okay if you're younger if you're younger than um a high schooler or you're older than high school no just if you're if you're younger than high school then i guess you don't know what i'm talking about but if you're in high school or you're older than high school and you've been a teen before bro stop it you know this is bro you know this is not absurd this is normal for like you've heard that before like yeah it was out of pocket he shouldn't have said it about gabriella bro like gabriella honestly the most innocent person in this whole thing mr b probably told them lies because they're over here calling him 19 and a pedophile bro like the parents in mr b are out of pocket first of all mr b has been harassing killick for two weeks straight two weeks straight bro and then he gets fed up and says some out of pocket shit and people are mad about it bro like that's so fucking irritating bro and then like killick you just got to be more careful you can't say stuff like that on the net bro people are some snowflakes on the net you can't be doing that but bro you don't go after people that with 10 million plus subscribers like all their channels together probably over 10 million of course they're gonna try and cancel you bro and their family channel family channels always be on that trying to get back like in the spotlight in the limelight so like it's like you can't do that bro of course they're gonna come for you but the, the defamation of character is absurd like we just went over how what killick said isn't right but that's how high schoolers talk and then we're gonna go over here to these actual grown people over here bashing killick to 10 million subscribers like that's not cool you're over here calling him a rapist a pedophile and acting like he's some adult this he's person a kid. is 19 years old so he is considered an adult our daughter is 15 years old she is a minor He's a kid too, just like your kids. Bro, you're basically bash like you're just a hypocrite. Over here bashing him, calling him a rapist and a pedophile. Are you serious? For some out of pocket jokes, some out of pocket roasting, he's a like he definitely took it too far, but bro, you're over here to 10 million impressionable viewers because you either got parents watching you who are obviously gonna side with you because they're gonna connect to the daughter situation, or you got kids watching you. D d it, or people that are simping for your family in general like of course they're gonna side with you and your feet they're gonna believe everything you say and you're over here calling him a rapist a pedophile and bro it's just like so absurd to me like if they went to court over this situation killick wins bro like in with a good lawyer because they can't sue killick for what he said bro if they did that then 95 percent of people in my high school are are suable like what like bro this is just how like he didn't even do nothing that bad bro like the way he was talking yeah it's th that and that this that and the third bro but that's just because you're hearing it like bro this in the mom over here oh when i heard it i was trembling i felt my whole body begin to tremble and shake uncontrollably because bro shut up bro shut the fuck up bro you were trembling bro if you go to my public high school if you went to my high school and went there for a whole day like if you just went there for a whole day you'd be in a coma if that made you tremble my high school would put you in a coma like you bro they're so soft they're so soft and then they're like killick would literally win in court off a of defamation and character like they called they they over here to 10 million subscribers calling him an adult pedophile and a rapist like and he's a minor they're putting these connotations on a minor like that's so out of pocket that's so out of pocket like that's way more out of pocket than anything killick did like yeah if the daughter didn't like because obviously they wasn't taking it as a joke and what killick said that's why i'm saying he did it and like you got to know who you're talking to killick like you got to know who you're talking to know the situation know the context like you shouldn't have said what you said bro because it just wasn't the right time or place for it but bro that's just how he's used to talking that's how a lot of us are used to talking and like and bro it's not meant to be taken this serious and then they take it that serious and like i guess they take it serious because they don't they don't they just don't understand and that's okay they take it serious he should apologize as he did but like the way they talk about him though like you're over here spouting all this nonsense don't know the facts like it's like nobody's innocent here bro like they're all high schoolers high schoolers aren't innocent bro 15 year olds you're acting like your 15 and 16 year old kids are some seven year olds bro they're not bro <laughs> the amount of stuff kids know is absurd like bro when i was in 14 the second you go to high school even middle school bro you're exposed to the world like they've heard this before like it's not like she's gabrielle is emotionally scarred and gonna be scarred for the rest of her life because he was roasting about her to her brother bro like she's oh my gosh it's so crazy bro like there's no way that's scarring her like <laughs> like people hear stuff like this every day well at least i did in my personal i'm mostly speaking from personal experience in my personal experience i heard stuff like this like literally multiple times an hour like bro high schoolers are not innocent bro there's no innocent people here killick's in the wrong for what he said 
the uh mr b is in the wrong because what he was harassing him for two weeks and he was also roasting back talking about his parent like i don't know what they were really talking about in the roast session but killick said that they was both talking about each other's families they was coming for each other's views coming for each other's channels bro it was a mutual thing it wasn't so one-sided and then killick's uh like he, he bro what he said was out of pocket i can't condone what he said but like uh, at the same time what the b family did is worse like they're over here calling him a rapist a pedophile and he's calling him 19 that's so much worse than what he did because they're doing it with a serious connotation he's doing it is like he's roasting it's a joke like bro you know what bro i just can't even honestly uh killix caught a w bro he's getting so much subscribers off this he's got in contact with keemstar Bro, hopefully Keemstar can help him set the situation straight, but, bro, free Killick, bro, like, bro, like, where, I know you guys sympathize, like, you've said stuff like what he said before, I know you have, bro, like, this is just how, and it's deep, and they're over here acting like he's playing a role, like, adopt me, like, everybody playing is 11 years old, no, we're literally teenagers, high schoolers, mostly playing deep, and bro, it's not a kid's game, like, it, like, bro, it's so crazy to me, it's just so crazy to me, well, that's I, I just wanted the rant bro i woke up mad bro i just had the rant about it and yeah it regardless of who wins this i i wish the best for killick i don't think what he did should warrant all of this backlash like yeah what he said was wrong but bro why is this why is this argument so one-sided it shouldn't be so one-sided like literally bro it should there's a time and place killick you just can't be doing that with the way you did it and then to the b family y'all are scumbags bro like y'all are just as bad don't act all hide and might like they literally were talking about how he doesn't have a father figure they were saying they're on different moral planets bro you're not on different moral planets don't act all high and mighty you're just as bad as he is if you want to put it like that bro like you're like over here talking about oh he's not christ-like we're christian we're christ-like bro you're christ-like but you're calling a 17 year old a pedophile and a and a rapist for for bro i for stuff that he said that was meant to be taken as a joke even though it wasn't joking matter it wasn't joking con like what he said wasn't a joke but he was saying in a joke bro it's just like it's just like so crazy to me but i've said what i said this is getting a little bit too long i'm just starting to ramble but uh the where i overall summary where i sit with this killick i think what you did was wrong but i don't think you deserve 99 percent of the hate you're getting right now and I think you just need to apologize, which I'm pretty sure you did. What you said wasn't right. It was out of pocket in the context it was said in. But also, I feel like the audience reacting to this is also out of pocket for acting like Killick. They're blowing what he did out of proportion, 100%. And then to the B family, bro, Mr. B, you're out of pocket for... You probably told your parents he's 19. Like, y'all, you're blowing smoke. You were harassing him for two weeks, so stop acting like you're innocent. And then the B family, like the parents... Y'all are disgusting. You literally calling a 17 year old a rapist and a pedophile. I, I can't, I can't tolerate that at all. And then, uh, the Gabriella, no, what? You're cool. You didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. You're just a, I, I'm sorry for what Killick said about you, I guess. Like, she's the only one that I'm not mad at. But the other B family, don't act like Killick's the only one in the wrong here. He's in the wrong, but y'all are in the wrong as well. Basically, more than him, in my opinion. You're in the wrong more than him. But. Yeah, that's just what I had to say. I was just mad, bro, because, like, I was just mad. I already said why I'm mad, bro, but I'm just rambling. I'm going to end this. Uh, Yeah, bye.